Hey guys, Damian Lewis with Prep Sports Nation here with another PSN Spotlight as we continue to get you ready for the 2024 Georgia High School Association football season. Got a chance to pull up on the Whitfield Academy Wolfpack coming off their first region championship in 15 years and now heading into year two under head coach Robert Walsh. I stopped by practice and caught up with defensive back Bryson Logan, who talked about the Wolfpack building off of the success of last season, his recruiting and committing to Georgetown. But first, we talked about what he got into this summer to get ready for the upcoming season. All right, Bryson, first off, man, congratulations on uh, one heck of a high school career, obviously heading into the final year, man. Uh, this summer, man, what kind of have you been working on as you get ready for this uh, this last campaign here? Uh it started off in the spring for me, just working more intensity in the weight room. Honestly, um, I uh, gained 20 pounds this all season, just you know, trying to get into college shape. Um, and I uh, did some 707, you know, ran with the track team. I uh, also played lacrosse. So that was all really preparation for football, if you think about it. Um, and this uh, summer, you know, I just went to a couple camps: uh, the Kennesaw State, Wake Forest, um, Yale, UConn camp. Um, just trying to get my DB skills right, mm -hmm. mainly press. Um, and then if I'm not going to camps, you know, I was just doing some training, some after practice or before practice training. All right, good deal. And let's talk about Georgetown. Congratulations on that Thank commitment you. announcement. Uh, what was it about the program that you knew once you kind of, you know, made your, I guess it was, say, the final visit that kind of, you know, made you say, this is it, this is going to be home? Mm -hmm. um, for me, honestly, it was the family, like, there, like, mm -hmm. Um, biggest thing in coaching and college football is like the, the stability, I'm sorry, is terrible. You know, like coaches, they'll come and go uh, more than recruits nowadays. Um, so, you know, the Georgetown coach, uh, Coach Scar, he's been there for um, like 30 something years. You know, everyone loves him. The uh, alumni there, they all come back every game, you know, um, trying to support the team. So I just feel like uh, the family while you there and like you know 20 years down the line is you know you're still going to be close all right and you talked about something uh kind of leading into my next question about you know the coaching changes you guys obviously had to go through a coaching change mm -hmm. here when coach Walsh came in but uh with him coming in from the defensive side of things how big has how much of an impact I should I say has that had on you uh it had a large impact um but my first two years it was honestly offense heavy at Whitfield so defense it was kind of like second hand but with Walsh coming in he came in aggressive you know his entry meeting everybody could see the <laughs> shift already so I mean he, he came in first day already letting me know in our uh, meeting when I had a personal meeting with him he just well I'm gonna be defensive heavy and so uh, I love that about him he's still like that you can hear him in the background <laughs> screaming so I mean yeah he's always defensive heavy all right, last year, a uh, heck of a run for you guys mm -hmm. uh, as you got to uh, got into the second round of the playoffs. What do you feel like is going to be key for you all to kind of build off of that success, take things even further this year? Uh, for us, mainly, it was just we were nervous. Like, we've never been in that situation before. We haven't won a region championship 15 years before last season. So, I mean, especially with a new coach, coaching staff, honestly, coming in, we were just like uh, first playoff game we wanted to – you know, shut the haters up. Second playoff game was rematch against Raven. It didn't go in our favor, but, I mean, we were just trying to, you know, change history here. So coming off of that season, we just obviously want to go further. Um, to me, second round isn't good enough, honestly. Um, I'm trying to get to that championship in December. So, I mean, we're just going to keep working off of that um, intensity, you know. And as the playoff goes on, it's less about um, – the play calling and all that is more about who's going to come together as a team, uh, who's going to work harder, and them fourth quarter drives, who's just going, who wants it more, honestly. So we're trying to get to that, even right now, August. All right, and real, last one before I let you go, how important for you uh, when it comes to that mission is it for you being a leader on this team now to kind of make sure you're uh, being the vocal, helping being a vocal uh, you know, point for Coach Walsh and the staff when mm -hmm. it comes down to the younger guys and making sure they're on the same page. Because I even saw you out there one time like, hey, man, y'all pay attention. So, yeah. you know, just how important is that leadership role for you? Uh, it's very important. Um, I'm one of the, I don't want to say few returners from last season, but I'm one of the bigger role returners from last season. And so – our team coming up, they're kind of looking up to me and a couple other guys because we, we've been where not where we want to be, but we've been closer to the goal we want to be. So, I mean, for me, 
uh, I don't look into it as more of a like I'm trying to be uh, on top of you guys and you know trying to yell at y'all all the time and stuff. I'm just trying to hold my team accountable. You know, I I want them to hold me accountable as well. So, I mean, they just they look up to me because I'm closer to the goal than where we want to be. But um, just want everyone on the team to hold each other accountable to the standard. All right, good deal, man. Well, I don't want to get you in trouble, man. Get back to practice, man. Take, yes, sir. Hey, seriously, all jokes aside, congratulations on everything. Thanks for a couple of minutes. Thanks. All right, thanks to Bryson Logan, Georgetown Commit, the Whitfield Academy Wolfpack, and Coach Robert Walsh for allowing me to stop by and being a part of this PSN Spotlight. Looking forward to seeing them in action when the season gets underway. For these stories and more, make sure you check us out at PrepSportsNation.net, and don't forget to check out our YouTube highlight channel, Prep Sports Nation. I'm Damian Lewis with Prep Sports Nation.